office is in a state of transition. A little more difficult to talk about products. Like I'll just sort of make it a bow tie. That's we'll, we'll just keep it right here, the whole video. Okay, bear with me. Office equipment, like lamps, not the most exciting review videos. Yet, since reviewing the BenQ screen bar, it's pretty rare I get something like that that I genuinely use almost every day. I walk into the office, I pop the button, and I let the lamp auto adjust to my surroundings. I love it. I mean, it's right there on my office TV for lighting up my trashed office desk. So wouldn't it be kind of cool if we had a smaller version of that lamp, maybe something a bit more portable that we could take with us for our laptops. The screen bar light packs similar performance into a smaller form factor for our notebook PCs. Looking at the full-sized screen bar, that makes a lot of sense on a desktop monitor or a TV, something that isn't likely to move much if ever. Set it and forget it, and it doesn't take up any space on your desk. The screen bar light is smaller, but this is a decently solid office lamp. Even the sturdiest of laptop screens will wobble if you move it around while attached. The light connects with a full-sized USB-A port, which isn't really a con, but more and more we're seeing portable computers moving to USB-C. So it's fine on my larger gaming laptop, but I can't use it on a smaller machine without an adapter. But lastly, there is a concern in BenQ approaching this idea today as we're all getting our undies twisted over bezel size. The clamp for this product might start encroaching on your screen, might block your webcam if you paid for one of those super fancy, ultra slim bezel, pretty laptop displays. Those concerns considered, I still really like the tech aspect of this lamp. Automatic ambient light and color tone adjustments are awesome. As lighting conditions change around you, so does the screen bar. And it seems to line up pretty well with the night modes on my PC displays. Keeping a lamp so close to a monitor might be an issue with glare, but the clamp and hinge on the light bar are excellent at projecting light at the correct angle to avoid that glare. And this is kind of silly, but I need to give them a kudos for the packaging. It's just a cardboard sleeve, which covers a handy, durable, rugged plastic case. And there's no extra box or packaging waste. This is the case for the product. BenQ makes some really nice premium office accessories and the screen bar light is no exception. At $100, this product arrives at an odd time considering the obvious trends laptops are headed. I really like taking a look at office health tech, like reviewing a standing desk, or the original screen bar was a great option to consider for eye strain working at your desk. The screen bar light speaks the same language, but it doesn't feel like a great on the go option. I feel better recommending this for people who use larger laptops as desktop replacements, or for folks who want a good light around an ultra thin monitor. The original full sized screen bar, not the best for our skinniest displays. If you're the kind of person though, who uses your laptop mostly on your lap, yeah, probably not. It's a premium price product, but there's also not much else quite like it. Auto light, tone controls, great local desk illumination, reducing eye strain and not taking up any desk space, especially if your work area is at a premium Premium, this could be your jam. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing my videos, subscribing to this channel, not just nerding out on fun office accessories. I don't know that that's really a category of video, but there are so many more conversations we need to have about getting the most out of your gadgets, electronics, and your workspace. If you would like to help contribute to those conversations, help support production on this channel, please head on over to somegadgetguy.com. You're gonna find a support banner, click on that link, and that'll take you to a full list of all of my current affiliates and partnerships, or you could consider contributing directly on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. It's a fun community of like-minded tech enthusiasts, and it's the home to all of my deep dive audio and camera reviews. I hope you'll check it out. Once again, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at Some Gadget Guy on the Twitters and the Instagrams and the Facebooks and the Twitches, and I will catch you all on the next review.